Hell yeah, dude. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dade and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Exotic Matter, a very, very early access game. First access notice, this is the pre-alpha version of Exotic Matter. I am one of the first people outside the studio to test the game. So thank you very much to Mobius Games for allowing me to be a part of that. Please be aware that the game's not finished yet, and the likelihood for bugs and potential crashes is high. If you want to become part of the development, join us in our forum, on our website, or on our Discord server. Here we are. It's a game that's coded in Java. Kind of reminds me of Minecraft, you know, uh, but it has a bit more space and technology than Minecraft. So there's obviously going to be a little bit of programming blocks and things like that. So I will find myself at an extreme difficulty curve once we come to that part. But uh, the tutorial mission is what I aim to get through today. So let's go ahead, start it up. We got Blue Destruction, Purple Criterion Fighter, <laughs> Dark Opportunity, ooh, that sounds edgy. We'll do that. And then we'll uh, randomize our seed just a little bit. Can I type in a seed? Then people could just play the, the Dayton Does map, whatever that might be. Oh, come on. Let me... I can't put an O. So, Dayton D. Ha. <laughs> I don't know if they're using the O and the S to program the game or something like that, but I guess that'll work just fine. That's my seed, if you want a similar a similar planet, something like that. We can share our experience together once the game is released, of course. You could also probably join up on the Discord server and be like, hey, can I can I try it out? Because Mobius seems like a pretty friendly guy. He don't mind none too much. He liked to share. An alien probe enters Earth's atmosphere. It warns all life will be destroyed within the next two decades. 2184. Next year, scientists discover that traveling faster than light is possible with a material found only on planet Silen. The first experimental FTL drive is built using the probe's supply. Scientists and political leaders develop a plan for evacuating Earth. The Criterion, mankind's first and only interstellar starship, is sent to Silen. Its mission is to recover more of the material necessary to build enough interstellar starships for a complete evacuation of Earth. The Criterion reaches Zylan, but then something went terribly wrong. As it tends to do, you know. That's alright. I woke up in a sleep chamber. A little stasis pod. Hooray! Now I'm free. And nobody's here to, uh, to greet me. That's fine, I guess. I'll just be here by myself. All alone. On a starship. All alone. With nothing in these boxes. Well, dang. Dang. And we got a couple of uh, vending machines here. I don't have anything to insert. Bite to go. We eat bites. And this is a uh, Netflix. Mm hmm. That's a Netflix terminal. <laughs> Log entry Kelvin, Jonathan, awoke from my cryo chamber to find I'm the only one alive on this ship. It looks like the Criterion crashed on this planet, killing everyone but me. Can't believe they're all gone. Wow, lucky you. Cassandra with her hilarious, nasty jokes, and Peter, the best save on player ever. I knew these people pretty well. We trained together for this mission. We were a good team. Coping together with the pressure of being humankind's last chance to evacuate Earth in time by bringing home some purpoloid. Ha <laughs> purpoloid, yeah! Now I'm alone, trying not to freak out. No time for survivor's guilt, though. I was always the baby on the team. Just 24 years, always the youngest. But hey, also the coolest. Yeah, that's what it's about, being a teenager. Nobody gets to be cooler than you. I guess it's time to grow up. Need to get going and find the purple gold. The purple coo! Yeah! Smoke some with your dogs! You know what I'm talking about? Door? Door? Push a button. That's right. Just like we open the pod. Push the button. Oh, look, there's something over there. Alright, I guess we'll have to swoop the loop. Swoop the loop and find our way over there. Uh, this is just where we came from. Yeah, there's nothing else down there, so we'll continue on. 
Um, this is elevator. Elevator shaft. I'm going to wait to go up to the second floor because I assume I need things on the first floor first. Uh, I've also got inventory with I, map with M. Those might come in useful, especially once I actually start exploring the planet. There's some credits. Hey! Now I could buy some Vite. Delicious Vite. I'm glad they didn't call it Soylent, because I would have. <laughs> frequency chip. Holds the frequency for high speed radio communication. Just plug one in a transmitter and one in a receiver to connect those devices. Interesting. So, yeah, this game uh, has quite a bit of programming to it, which I dread a little bit. <laughs> because I never end up doing really well with games that uh, require me to think in that way. So logical, like a computer, my brain just uh, doesn't do. I think I'm getting the hang of it. If the ship walls are already damaged, I can destroy the blocks with my drill. I don't have the drill. Luckily, the Criterion looks after the crash mostly like a ship's wreck. The good girl would need a serious makeover to impress anybody. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with our starship. That we actually did, accidentally crashed. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We'll get another one. We'll get another one, everybody. Hmm. Can't seem to open this door. So I'll probably need to play with frequency chips just a little bit in order to do so. Is this like a, a battery thing? Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe so. Who really knows? Um, stairwell, what's this? Hmm, I don't know. I guess I'll start from the back and then make my way to the front. That seems like a wise decision, no? Ignambrite, 64 blocks, but uh, the blocks do stack beyond 64. So that's a good thing. It's not a completely minecrafted thing. It's got its own personality, at least for the stack sizes. It's hard to say, really. A little bit of duct tape. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, that's all for these containers. What say you, computer? Which genius planned this ship? Drunken engineers? No wonder we crashed on Xylan. Yeah, who was driving? What the fuck is this? Surely humanity's best at work. Trapped in a pit and I'm too small to get out. What is even the sense of this pit than to annoy me? I need a drink. I mean, it's probably to, you know, keep it secure from aliens or something. What a fuss. Honestly, a pit in the middle of the ship? Finally used some blocks to build a way out. Worked, but seriously? I guess. I don't know. I got some blocks on me. Oh, look, there's the the outside. If I could just get through the window. Through the window. Through the wall. Oh, that was easy. One little block and I'm I'm well on my way. Hey. Emergency drilling laser. That's what I want. Super. Can I have this box? Can I can I use it to contain things? Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, need more light, please. Super. And I can drill my way through the weakened portions of the wall. Ooh, secret room. Hell yeah. Five credits. It's worth it. Special reward for me. So, we have gotten the drill. We are well on our way to victory. Yes, indeed. Now I just have to see all the things that I can drill with it. How about this? Light blocks. These are for me. I'm gonna need these at some point, I'm sure. Especially if I'm out exploring the planet. You know what I mean? I don't want to build torches like some kind of basic bitch. I want to have, like, photosynthetic light blocks. Oh, yeah. I still can't do anything with this bite chamber, but okay. We went to the end. This is like a giant U-shape. Um, so we've explored both of the ends of the U-shape. And then I want to find some like weakened walls or something. 
Maybe I can find some more treasures. Yes. Just a little bit of treasure would do me well. It doesn't seem like there's anything over here. Um, light? Anything? No. That's fine. This is pretty broken part right here. Still nothing behind it, unfortunately. Hmm. Mysteries. Mysteries. What is this? Replicator. Okay. So, can I replicate a light, light block? Required items, replicate items. Interesting. I don't understand your purpose. What is all this? What's this button do? Oh, that's the elevator up. Okay. Maybe I can break my way through. Not quite. There's no crouch or anything like that. Well, shit. I crawl on my belly. I crawl on my hands and knees. Come on, let me in there. Dang. There's another broken block. I don't think this is really, uh, taking me anywhere. Well, maybe here. Oh. Yeah, that just loops around. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know what's going on. I, I know there's some mysteries here. Why would you give me the drill? There is nothing to uncover. There's... See? There is something. Back in this supposed dead end. Yes, look at this. Blue grenade, a dangerous explosive that cuts through nearly all types of materials when thrown at them. Hell yeah, dude. We got the SCOM Short Range Command Override Module. It will help you in situations where you want to change the properties of blocks, like putting frequency chips in or out or changing computer programs. Okay, so that seems like a pretty essential piece of hardware, doesn't it? Go ahead and put that there. And I kind of want to move these grenades back so I don't accidentally use them. And then 50 credits. Hell yeah. I don't know what credits do in this game, but it's got to be a good thing, right? Oh, and then it's just kind of another shortcut through. But yeah, I'm I'm glad we found that hidden, hidden box. Let's see. SCOM. Okay. Transmitter interface. How about, um... I don't know. What does the door have? This? Yeah, PKHT. Ha ha! So I just slap that in there. Ooh, daddy! Look at that right there. Progress! Surface teleporter. Dang. We're getting this all figured out, ain't we? Ha ha! Alright. Oh, we're, we're outside the ship now. Cool! So I guess I could, uh, build some stuff and have a little exploration funsies. Everybody likes that. One, two, three. I just don't want to lose my, my ship. It kind of looks the same as everything else, doesn't it? Oh no, it's like that metal-y kind of block. But I probably should mine just a little bit more. Oh, and there's no range restriction on um on your blocks. You can basically place them anywhere. That's pretty nice. So let's go up and up some more. Boop boop boop. Make a little staircase. Hell yeah, dude. That was a relatively simple tutorial, if one would ask me. And yeah, we just need to pick up a few more blocks. And then we'll progress at some point. There's probably some more in the spaceship to explore. I mean, I haven't even fucking checked out the second floor. And I already was able to escape it, so... I guess that's good. It's good and bad. It's a blessing in disguise. But yeah, it is getting dark out here now, so... I don't want to get lost. I don't know if there's fall damage either, so... I gotta be uh, a little bit careful. There we go. Down and down. And uh, hit that. Hit that shut. Alright, I'll seal this up. 
I don't know if there's any baddies out there at night. But it's possible. Oh, and I want to take this. I didn't mean to place that there. Let's go ahead and check out what is uh, upstairs. Oh god, don't crush me. <laughs> I don't know if you could take damage from that, but... It's better not to find out. If one were to ask me. Uh, boxes. Okay. Access card. Well, I don't need that. I already got the little SCOM. I could switch out... Whatever you call it. Switch out transmitter tags, or... Yeah, I guess that's what, what I'd call it. And then you can, uh... You can open any door that you want. If you can find the matching tags. Just need a set of two. And then you can start programming your own stuff. So yeah, slowly I'm already beginning to grasp what the programming's like in this game. It's probably a lot deeper than that, though. You can likely do some crazy stuff that I haven't yet thought of. Ooh, hidden door. I love this. Drill on through. Get him, baby. Alright, blue grenade. Cool. We're cooking with gas. Alright, I'll go back downstairs now. So friends, this has been Exotic Matter. A very productive first episode, if one were to ask me. We got that uh, SCOM, we got the driller, we found our way outside. We can uh, start building bases or exploring for monsters or whatever we do. I also want to check out the second floor in the next episode of our little, little star base. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully well, but you never do know. Sometimes things just go horribly wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And uh, we've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you'd like to support me on any of those, that would be massively, massively appreciated. Go check out um, the Exotic Matter Discord. Holler at Mobius. Tell him if you like what he's doing here or if you uh, think that there can be some improvements to be made. Overall, I like it quite a bit. Um, yeah. It's like a technologically advanced Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft with redstone is pretty technologically advanced, but, uh, yeah. This game could outdo it, which I think would be a major selling point for it. Anyways, thank you once again for watching, friends. This has been Exotic Matter. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye One, two... Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.